Come on down to this year's Winter Wonderland. Papillion's holiday celebration is back to its original in-person attending event. We want people to feel comfortable gathering, but it is outdoors and that's, you know, something that, that is a little better than being, you know, closed inside. Laura points out that it ultimately comes down to personal responsibility. If we're not feeling well, you know, just stay home. Um, you know, if you feel like you're at high risk or at risk at all, then, you know, the smart thing to do is probably stay home with those that you've been with. And, um, but COVID isn't going to go away. Um, and we're all just going to have to figure out how we kind of navigate it moving forward. Joe Hunter joined the Papillion Community Foundation last year, making this winter wonderland his first traditional holiday event working behind the scenes. He says it takes a lot of effort and attention to detail to make it all happen. Um, you know, we have a board of 15 members, we have four interns, we have an advisory board of eight people, and now a staff of two. Every single one of those individuals pitches in on top of numerous community volunteers. Um, the city really heavily supports um, pulling off both of our signal events each year, and you really gain an appreciation of what the service is in this town. Um, there's a lot of people who have their hearts in their, their work every day, and that's why we're able to pull those events off so successfully. Um, without any one of those individuals in the place that they're in now, it wouldn't be possible. So. Joe talks about one of the things that stands out. You have to be flexible, and I think I can take last year's experience and this year's experience together with that, because every year is different, regardless of whether we factor in COVID or not. Um, you have to be flexible with the people and the personalities you're working with, with the events that you're planning, um, and even the weather. You never know what's going to happen in any given year with that, so you have to have contingencies planned around all of that. The basic wonderland remains the same, but there's always ways to improve and change some aspects. We may change certain pieces or aspects of the event, but you know, you want people to want to come every year, I mean, and, and, and to have the opportunity to experience something new. I mean, obviously Pancake Man is a new thing for us. We usually do chili, so, um, you know, and he's so fun, to, and, you know, it's entertaining and who doesn't like pancakes? We are gonna put some things in the library parking lot that are a little more central. Um, so we're moving the hot chocolate and the first responders that help do that over into that parking lot area will be lit up. Um, and it'll be a great area for them to really interact with the community. Another change is not only interactive, but beneficial for several people. Businesses are gonna decorate their storefronts and then we're gonna sell raffle tickets that people can vote for their favorites. Um, and then um, from the sale of the raffle tickets, we're gonna divide it in thirds. So a third will go to the winning business, a third will go to a lucky winner, and then a third will be donated here to the foundation. So, um, and that will help go to fund our internship program, our high school internship program. So we're super excited about that. Meanwhile, for Joe, this all has been an eye-opening experience. But it's something I wanna to continue to do, and I, I'm honored to continue to do, honestly. Not, not a lot of people my age get to participate in an experience like this at the level that I'm at right now. And um, it's really, honestly, exciting, humbling, and a little nerve wracking sometimes too. Come and experience Winter Wonderland in downtown Papillion, Saturday, November 27th, from 4.30 to 8.30 p.m. That's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. For Papillion Now, I'm Tori Pantaleon.